absolutely. Uh, this is the first night I've seen, you know, the delivery, the tempo uh, synced up. The ball was coming out really well. I mean, he's worked his tail off with our pitching guys, the strength and conditioning guys, performance guys, to get his body in position to, you know, throw the baseball the way he threw the ball. You know, the life of the ball, the fastball is missing bats, the direction good, and it was like using his body the right way. And that's, I mean, gosh, we haven't seen that in quite some time. And um, I just, and with that, you could just see the confidence Certainly after that first inning and the second inning, um, I don't know what team was playing defense that second inning, and we certainly didn't help Walker out. Um, but for him to kind of reset, gather himself, and still throw the baseball the way he did um, was big for his confidence for us. And I'm looking forward to him building on this because uh, you know if he keeps in that delivery and then the way he was spinning the baseball, the curveball was as good as I've seen it in a couple years. The fastball, the, the cutter, late. So yeah, he was ripping it tonight. What happened on the strike three? Will, Will just got confused. Um, it bounced in the dirt, and he caught it. I think he thought that he caught it in the air, and so we missed on that one. Which was more important and impressive tonight? The first pitch by Decoy or Shogun's game? Decoy. <laughs> I heard, I heard that Decoy was going to throw out the first pitch, and, and I just am impressed that that dog was already that trained. But I guess if it's Shohei's dog, I guess nothing should be surprising. So, but yeah, that was pretty impressive. And um, but Shohei, I mean, his bobblehead night to hit a homer again. This guy and steal a couple of bases. I'm telling you, it's like any big moment, he seems to rise to the occasion. All right. <laughs> what do you got, Eric? Uh, what is Anthony Bond in that you guys have seen? Anthony's been great. You know, we picked him up in a trade um, earlier this year, and to have a guy to go along with Alex, you feel that can get lefties out, can manage righties, and um, he does up downs. He's uh, resilient. He's a strike thrower, and so just taking some of the load off Alex has been huge. And a guy I trust against right-handed hitters, excuse me, as well. Um, just the ability to post. He's strong, physical, um, he's bought into our culture, and uh, he's fit right in. Just checking on Hudson, game days now, is he available? Huddy will pitch tomorrow. Um, he, he was available tonight. Um, I a little bit wanted to give him a mini reset in the sense of he hasn't pitched over 50 games since 2019. So um, we needed him to be active. And given the off days that we've had, we've been able to kind of use other guys to give them, you know, six or seven days. But, you know, from here on out, from tomorrow out, I'm just going to use them as I've always used them. But I think that this seven days, whatever it is, I think is a good reset for him. Hey, was, was on his shoulder okay? Yeah, he got hit in the chest, and um, he can be a little, uh, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> sure, he's fine. <laughs> Did you hear anything about Yeah, uh, Yoshinobu, uh, two innings today, tonight, threw well, came out of it good, did a third inning, I think he threw 10 pitches in the bullpen, so um, you know, hopefully we can get him to three innings, his next outing, and then throw another one in the pen after that, and then have a real conversation if it makes sense for him to join us. Thanks, guys. <laughs>